Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe InDesign tutorial. Have you ever wondered, wouldn't it be amazing if there was a way to export layers from an InDesign project to Photoshop? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do just that by installing and running an InDesign script. We'll also create an animated GIF from that same InDesign project using Photoshop. So let's get started. On my screen here, I have an iPhone X document size, and the intent is to get this over to Photoshop and create an animated GIF. In my layers panel, which I'm gonna tear off here, you can see that I've placed all the content in this layout on separate layers. So all these layers will transfer over to Photoshop once we run the script that I'm about to show you. For that, there's a couple steps you have to create. So this is a script that was written by a fellow named Rob Day and I've included it in the description below. Also, it's in the blog post uh, of the tutorial with the step-by-step -step instructions included. Basically, what you wanna do is download the script and then copy this layers to smart object.scpt script and go to your applications, go to Adobe InDesign 2021 or the version of InDesign you're running and then make your way down, double click scripts, and then go to the scripts panel and paste it into this panel folder. Make sure that you do, you do that when InDesign is not running. Once you've done that, go ahead and restart InDesign. And to access your scripts panel, go to window, utilities, and scripts. Now, I already have mine open here, which I'll just Put with the layers panel and in the application folder you can see there's the script that we're going to be running today it's called layers to smart objects dot script okay so just going back to the layers panel you can see as I mentioned before I have everything on the um, separate layers so that's exactly what we want here I'm gonna go back to my scripts panel and then right click and run script or you can also just double click that to bring up this export to Photoshop dialog box here. And so the basically what we're doing here, it's, it's going to export these layers as PDFs and the PDFs will be smart object layers in Photoshop, which is really cool. So in the PDF preset, I usually, usually check or select the 2008 version. The color mode will be RGB. The page to export here, we only have one page, um, so I'm just gonna leave it on one. And then I'm just gonna bump up the resolution to 300, just for a higher res for this, this tutorial here. Okay, so once you've done that, you also wanna make sure that the layers are smart objects. Okay, so you can select that. And then hit okay, and what'll happen is, um, Photoshop will open, and it'll export to Photoshop and we'll have a look and see how it, it looks in, in, in Photoshop. After running the script, you can see that all the layers I had in my InDesign project have carried over to Photoshop. Now I should mention this is an Apple script that I'm using today. However, I am including one in the description below that will work for Windows. Now that I have all my layers here from InDesign carried over to Photoshop, we can go ahead and create that animated GIF. So let's choose window and then timeline and then select create frame animation. Go ahead and click that. Now I have one frame here to start with and I wanna choose one second as the duration for this entire GIF that we're about to create. Now this is a good opportunity on the first frame to turn everything off aside from main content. So the only thing we want visible at the beginning is introducing the all new title as well as available October 2022. It's for a fictional smartwatch uh, launch here. So in the timeline panel in the upper right hand corner, let's choose new frame. And the first thing we want to have appear is watch two. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new frame. The second thing we want to have appear is edge text two. So that's edge five with a fill. Let's go ahead and create a new frame. 
And what we want to have appear here is left arrow with a description of the watch or a feature of the watch, I should say. Let's create a new frame and turn on right arrow or arrow right with a secondary feature of the watch. Okay, so now what I wanna do is have edge five fill as well as the watch um, keep flip-flopping from a fill to a stroke as well as the front of the watch and the back of the watch. So let's create a new frame. Let's turn off watch two and turn on watch three. And basically what I've done here in InDesign, the watches which I've provided uh, for you, just line them up in a way where there's not much movement aside from the face of the watch. So try to line up the bands as best you can. You just get a better um, result when you do that. Okay, so let's turn off watch two, leave watch three on, turn edge text two off, and turn edge text one on, okay? And basically instead of repeating this and turning layers on and off, I'm gonna go back to frame five and in the options in the timeline, let's copy that frame, click on the sixth frame, click on the options again, and let's paste that frame. And in the paste frames dialog box, make sure that you have paste after selection. Let's click on the sixth frame. Let's copy that frame, click on the seventh frame, and then paste the frame after the selection. And let's do that one more time. I'm gonna click on frame seven, copy the frame, click on frame eight, paste the frame after the selection, which is frame eight. So basically we have nine frames in this animated GIF. Let's play it out and test it before we save it as a GIF and have a look at, at how it looks overall. So you can see it, it's playing out nice at a nice duration of one second. And I have it set as a loop right now. And you get a good result with the the flip-flop, the transition between the fill of the title as well as the watch itself going from front facing to the back of the watch. So let's go ahead now and export and save this as a GIF, which you can publish online or share on social media. Before exporting your GIF, it's very important to have all the frames selected. So click on the first one, hold your shift key down and click on the last one. Now you can go up to file, export and choose save for web legacy. In the save for web dialog box, choose GIF and under the preset dropdown, select GIF 128 dithered. Down below, have the looping options set to forever and then simply click save and save it to where you'd like. Now for this, I'm just gonna save it as dash new and click save. And next, we'll open it and see how it looks when you share it on social media. As a last step here, I went ahead and uploaded the GIF to the Giphy app. I'm gonna open it up on my smartphone here and you can see that all the frame animation that we applied in Photoshop has carried over to the GIF on the app. So it's a great way of starting this project off in InDesign by creating separate layers and then exporting those layers using the layers to smart object script that I showed you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to convert layers from an InDesign project to Photoshop. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up as it helps this channel continue to grow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest tutorial content and get notified when new videos have been released. Until then, take care and keep creating.